Hello there, my name's Samuel Riggs, reporting for Trinity TV, and I'm here with James Honeybourne, one of England's premier wildlife broadcasters. What is your main kind of economic concern? You're clearly very invested in biology and very invested in the natural world and the natural habitat of animals around the world. So I was wondering, what is worrying you about um, the environment at the moment? Oh, well, I... I um, with Africa, it was like, the, you know, we had to look at the continent through the prism. There's a, there's a billion people on the continent. And obviously that will impact on Africa's wild places and Africa's wildlife. So we did a, a show there, which was very much about the future of, of wildlife in the continent and, and what might happen. Um, uh, now, uh, looking ahead, pretty much everywhere on the planet is under pressure from pretty much every wild place on the planet is under pressure um, from human interference. It's, it's actually very hard to find a truly wild place anymore. Um, but our focus now, uh, my focus now, is turning towards the to oceans. And I think that, you know, in the next few years, there's an awful lot to be done um, about the health of the world's oceans. Because ultimately, we, all of humanity, needs the oceans to be healthy. For our own survival. This is very true. I actually saw you've done quite a lot of work with free divers, and I know yeah. that you're a scuba diving enthusiast as yeah. well. So you were talking about how you've got a, a new series coming up about the world's oceans. Can you tell us anything about that at all? Or? Well, it's early days. Yeah, I haven't even got it commissioned. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> but, 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 but no, it's it's um, hopefully we're going to get it underway. It'll take a few years to make. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I've, I've made wildlife films underwater for a long time. And free diving is uh, you know, just a wonderful thing. It's fantastic to be to get involved in that. It's been amazing. So, uh, I think I'm just very passionate about being involved in that. And, uh, you know, there's also, it, what's also really exciting about the oceans is there's loads of new stuff to study. It's the only part of the planet where the rate of scientific discovery is actually increasing. So, we're really excited to think um, there's a whole raft of new stories to be told underwater. Um, so you mentioned in your lecture that you've clearly worked very closely with Sir David Attenborough in your time. You clearly have a massive and great respect for him. Yeah. Um, what is it like working with him? Is it absolutely fantastic? I'd imagine it is. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he, he's just... For me, he, he's always been there. He's always been around the unit. Um, I, I grew up making wildlife and ones in natural worlds with David. Um, and then to do a project like this, you know, something, something big and to get to take him out on, on safari, you know, it's like a childhood dream come true. Exactly. Um, so I was wondering in terms of safari, um, obviously safari has become quite a tourist trade in recent years. Yep. Does that worry you? Do you feel like it has a detrimental effect on natural habitats? No, I think we were really pleased when we heard that actually the number of uh, uh, requests to travel agents about the possibility of going on safari increased when the series went out and that's good because especially if we can get encourage people to go to community based resorts so so places where where the local communities are benefiting from the tourist dollar then that has to be a good thing because that actually um, helps drive local support of conservation that's absolutely brilliant yeah. so I think we'll begin to wrap it up there but one last question, just because you know you are a wildlife documentarist. Um, that's not a real one. I, but <laughs> I think the Americans say documentarian, which documentarian. is probably even worse, so oh that's dear. fine. Documentarist, we'll, we'll, we'll go stick with, with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, general question, if you had to pick one animal, absolute favourite animal, what is it? Ooh. <laughs> okay, the honest truth is, if you get to spend time with any animal, you find it amazing. So you spend time with a humpback whale, it is your favourite animal. So you spend time with a giant hornet, it becomes your favourite animal. So it's kind of who I've just got to know. Um, uh, but overall, you can't really beat a great white shark. That's true. That's very true. Well, thank you very much for the interview. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet cool. you. And I wish you the greatest luck in the future with all of your endeavours. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. This has been Samuel Riggs for TTV.